I never thought this would happen. Over the last year or so, I have sworn to myself and other people I would never do this. I'm gonna tell you what it is. But first, let's jump back like 15, 16 years ago when I had my first home studio set up. It was in my parents' bonus room and my stepdad got me my first interface and I was able to multi-track. This was a really big deal for me. This is what it looked like. This is, I was recording drums, I was recording bands I was in. That's really when this whole recording thing clicked with me and I became obsessed. And then I remember being at work one of these days on the internet and I saw an ad for a recording school and it had these kids holding notebooks standing in front of a big console. And I thought, what? You can go to school for this? Is this a job you can actually have? Then came the whole process of convincing my parents it was a good idea for me to move across the country to go to this school where maybe or maybe not there's gonna be actually be a job at the end of that journey. Then getting the job at the best studio I could have possibly imagined getting a job. They had four amazing recording studios tracking big, large format consoles, amazing historic outboard gear, timeless microphone. I was there for a long time over five, six some odd years, every single day. I worked 15, and on average, I would say 15 hours a day. And then when I was off the clock, I still was there. I actually kept my drum set, my guitar amp, I had a couple of guitars, some pedals, kept all my junk at the studio. So when I was done working on a session, I could bring my own stuff in and actually make music and use these amazing rooms. Getting to do that in historic rooms on big, giant old Neve consoles, they had an SSL console, and then in Studio 3 they had a Trident A-Range console, which ironically, I got to spend the most time on because it was like a smaller room, the tracking room didn't have a booth, and the, this console was this old purple Trident. Very few people knew what the heck it was. Because I did, I spent a lot of time in there and I got to know that console really, really well. You know, my biggest takeaway from the entire experience there was not necessarily just using the rooms and the gear. Uh, that was definitely a plus, I, I loved that. But being able to work with different clients, sometimes every other day, every day, sometimes for months at a time, working with artists, you know, that, that you've heard of. Producers that you look up to, engineers you've always wanted to meet, the decisions they make, that was the biggest value for me. Now, the gear and the rooms was super fun, but I eventually I did start to like put two and two together and not to take anything away from commercial studios, but if you get some good gear and you've had some good experience, you can really make a great sounding record anywhere, which ultimately led to us leaving Los Angeles. Now, I will say it was very hard. That was, you know, giving up your whole network and resources and starting over in a new city. It's never easy. Then we moved to Nashville and I had to grind pretty hard on other gigs for a bit. I drove for Uber for a little bit. At this point, my girlfriend and I had gotten married. We had a beautiful kid. We have four pets and we were figuring it out, but I wanted to try something new. In June 2019, I posted my first YouTube video and I had no plan. I had extremely low expectations. The idea was maybe in a couple years, this can bring in some money to pay my cell phone bill. And if not, at the very least, maybe when people go to look me up, they'll know that I record music and I can get some clients. I had no idea how to make videos. I had no idea how to use cameras. I didn't know anything. It was just all blind ignorance and just going for it, which I think sometimes you gotta do. So for the first four months, my goal was to post one video every week, four videos a month. And in October that year, we closed on our first house. This was my opportunity to build my own studio, my first home studio, and I was not going to miss any opportunity. I jumped right in, built it exactly how I wanted to build it with the means that I had, filmed the whole thing, put a video out on it. And that video was the first time after six months and 22 videos I had made that actually got people to watch. So now it's 2020, 
I have this video that's starting to get some traction, the channel's starting to get some views, which at the time meant very little views, but it was something. So my very supportive wife and I both decided that we were going to really lean into this YouTube thing. So I decided I'd find some clients that I could work with throughout the year to bring in some, uh, some money and then also really invest my time in making videos for the channel. The idea was loosely to share my experience in recording and the things that I personally thought were interesting. And if enough people found it and thought it was interesting, it could very quickly turn into a viable business. Eventually, the channel got monetized, which means it could bring in some money as well as the sessions I was doing. Now, we were not making much money at all. We were on a serious budget to be able to pull this off, but it was worth it. It kind of opened up a rabbit hole. I mean, if you guys have followed the channel, you've seen now I've done over 100 of these videos, the studio tours, the Epic Home Studio tours. First off, Nashville has so many Epic Home Studios and that really created a lot of opportunities for me. Something that I did not see happening with this channel were brand deals. In the beginning of the channel, I would just use whatever I had or buy something that I could afford that I thought was interesting to, and figure out a way to make a video on that. But when the brand deals door opened, it not only allowed me to make videos and content on products that I didn't have and always wanted to try, but it allowed me to solidify this as an actual business opportunity. Enter Sweetwater 2021 in April. It was amazing. I kept uploading videos and the channel kept growing. And because of my relationship with Sweetwater, I was now able to review products from any company that was on Sweetwater. I was not limited to working with one specific brand. It really, really contributed to me being able to travel around the country, meet so many incredible people, see so many truly epic studios, make so many new friends. It was really hard to believe. But there was one thing that I was certain would never happen. Congrats Super on your cool. new console that's coming probably oh, no. in the next. Oh no. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> In the next six months to yeah. a year. That uh, is now happening. Remember that console that I mentioned earlier? The weird purple console that I spent most of my time on when I was at East West? That's the legendary A-Range console from Trident. In a very strange yet remarkable twist of fate, a new console from Trident is gonna be arriving here in this studio in 10 days. <laughs> Holy sh okay, here's the plan. I've got a bunch of cabling and supplies arriving to be able to prepare for this console. I need to disassemble my room, take all of the gear out of my desk. I'm gonna have to get a whole new desk. Get rid of this desk, which is insane because it's a freaking amazing desk. In fact, I'll give it to you if you want this desk. Keep watching. After I get rid of that, then I have to actually rewire the whole room. There's gonna be new patch bays that run all the snakes. I wanna have it all set up so when the console gets here and the new desk gets here, I can put the console on the desk and then just plug and play. This is gonna be a crazy change. We're taking the Original Danger Fox Genesis 24U back to Danger Fox because I'm going to give it to one of you. We're going to do a giveaway and Aaron at Danger Fox, he's going to ship it to you for free. All right, today's the day we're leaving Austin. We're driving to Waco to get the new desk. I'm very excited to see it. We're gonna drive it back to Nashville. I hope it fits. We'll see. Ready to roll? Let's do it. All right, we're here. Danger Fox. Yeah, hey, what's up, dude? Hey. How are you? So this is the new split bay with a custom center section for a console. There it is. Numero uno. Numero uno. Uno. All 
All right, so we are on our way back to Tennessee. We managed to get the entire desk and the rack and our bags and a cooler and everything else crammed in here. Fingers crossed that nothing is damaged. Tomorrow we'll take all this out and we'll set up the desk. Hopefully, fingers crossed. There's no instructions. This is the very first unit of this desk. And then the next morning, the console arrives. All right, now I have the new desk completely set up. Feels unbelievable. The thing that's gonna go in this space is going to arrive tomorrow, I think pretty early. All right, I just got the call. It's gonna be here in four minutes, well, probably like two minutes now. Are you excited? Yeah. Hey, I can't wait for Gabe. You want to carry this up with me? Uh, yeah, and you, Jack, you can help too. <laughs> yeah. Smash like button. My wife carrying this console with me. Turn. Danger Fox, holy cow. Whoa! Holy crap, I can't believe how perfectly it fits. I'm like really happy it fits. Oh. <laughs> All right, here we go. First reveal, sort of. <laughs> Look at it. Uh, okay, so I got a console. That's, that's, that's the whole payoff here. But really what I wanted to get across here is something more personal. Several years ago before I started this channel, I saw a couple of videos that really motivated me. They really pushed me over the edge. I didn't see a lot of this coming. I didn't see working at like the Mecca studio, in my opinion. Being there for so long and working on so many incredible sessions with so many incredible people, I knew I wanted to do something different and I didn't exactly know what that was. So when I got pushed over the edge to start making videos, I never thought you would watch. I never thought anyone would watch. I gotta thank you from the bottom of my heart. Seriously, it's, I, I never thought any of this was possible, but none of it would have happened if it weren't for me just going ahead and trying anyway. If you're passionate about something and you're willing to put in the work, just, just go for it. Believe in yourself, don't give up. It's not gonna be easy, not everyone's gonna believe in you, not everyone's gonna think it's gonna work out. Do the thing that you love and give it everything you have. It'll be worth it.